Welcome to the Bible in One Year with Melissa Sykes. Today is June the 26th and we begin in Hosea chapter 2 verses 14 through 23. The Lord's love for unfaithful Israel. Therefore behold I will allure her, will bring her into the wilderness and speak comfort to her. I will give her her vineyards from there and the valley of Achor as a door of hope. She shall sing there as in the days of her youth as in the day when she came up from the land of Egypt. And it shall be in that day, says the Lord, that you will call me my husband, and no longer call me my master. For I will take from her mouth the names of the Baals, and they shall be remembered by their name no more. In that day I will make a covenant for them with the beast of the field, with the birds of the air, and with the creeping things of the ground. Bow and sword of battle I will shatter from the earth to make them lie down safely. I will betroth you to me forever. Yes, I will betroth you to me in righteousness and justice, in loving kindness and mercy. I will betroth you to me in faithfulness, and you shall know the Lord. It shall come to pass in that day that I will answer, says the Lord. I will answer the heavens, and they shall answer the earth. The earth shall answer with grain, with new wine, and with oil. They shall answer Jezreel. Then I will sow her for myself in the earth, and I will have mercy on her who had not obtained mercy. Then I will say to those who were not my people, You are my people, and they shall say, You are my God. Hosea's wife is redeemed. Hosea chapter 3, verse 1 through 5. Then the Lord said to me, Go again, love a woman who is loved by a lover and is committing adultery, just like the love of the Lord for the children of Israel, who look to other gods and love the raisin cakes of the pagans. So I bought her for myself for fifteen shekels of silver and one and one half homers of barley. And I said to her, You shall stay with me many days. You shall not play the harlot, nor shall you have a man. So too will I be toward you. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without king or prince, without sacrifice or sacred pillar, without ephod or teraphim. Afterward, the children of Israel shall return and seek the Lord their God and David their king. They shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. The Lord's case against Israel. Israel, Hosea chapter 4, verses 1 through 19. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for the Lord brings a charge against the inhabitants of the land. There is no truth or mercy or knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying, killing and stealing, and committing adultery, they break all restraint, with bloodshed upon bloodshed. Therefore the land will mourn, and everyone who dwells there will waste away with the beast of the field, and the birds of the air. Even the fish of the sea will be taken away. Now let no man contend or rebuke another, for your people are like those who contend with the priest. Therefore you shall stumble in the day. The prophet also shall stumble with you in the night, and I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because you have rejected knowledge. I also will reject you from being priests for me, because you have forgotten the law of your God. I also will forget your children. The more they increase, the more they sin against me. I will change their glory into shame. They eat up the sin of my people. They set their heart on their iniquity. And it shall be like people, like priests. So I will punish them for their ways and reward them for their deeds. For they shall eat, but not have enough. They shall commit harlotry, but not increase. Because they have ceased obeying the Lord. Harlotry, wine, and new wine enslave the heart. My people ask counsel from their wooden idols, and their staff informs them. For the spirit of harlotry has caused them to stray, and they have played the harlot against their God. They offer sacrifices on the mountaintops and burn incense on the hills, under oaks, poplars, and terebinths, because their shade is good. Therefore your daughters commit harlotry, and your brides commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they commit harlotry, nor your brides when they commit adultery. For the men themselves go apart with harlots, and offer sacrifices with a ritual harlot. Therefore people who do not understand will be trampled. Though you, Israel, play the harlot, let not Judah offend. Do not come up to Gilgal, nor go up to Beth-Avon, nor swear an oath, saying, As the Lord lives. For Israel is stubborn, like a stubborn calf. Now the Lord will let them forage, like a lamb in open country. Ephraim is joined to idols, let him alone. Their drink is rebellion, they commit harlotry continually. 
Her rulers dearly love dishonor. The wind has wrapped her up in its wings, and they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices. The Failure of Israel's Leaders, Hosea chapter 5, verses 1 through 15. Hear this, O priests. Take heed, O house of Israel. Give ear, O house of king, of the king, for yours is the judgment, because you have been a snare to Mitzvah, and a net spread on t- Tabor. The revolters are deeply involved in slaughter, though I rebuke them all. I know Ephraim, and Israel is not hidden from me. For now, O Ephraim, you commit harlotry. Israel is defiled. They do not direct their deeds toward turning to their God, for the spirit of harlotry is in their midst, and they do not know the Lord. The pride of Israel testifies to his face. Therefore Israel and Ephraim stumble in their iniquity. Judah also stumbles with them. With their flocks and herds they shall go to seek the Lord, but they will not find him. He has withdrawn himself from them. They have dealt treacherously with the Lord, for they have begotten pagan children. Now a new moon shall devour them and their heritage. Blow the ram's horn in Gibeah, the trumpet in Ramah. Cry aloud at Beth Avon. Look behind you, O Benjamin. Ephraim shall be desolate in the day of rebuke. Among the tribes of Israel I make known what is sure. The princes of Judah are like those who remove a landmark. I will pour out my wrath on them like water. Ephraim is oppressed and broken in judgment because he willingly walked by human precept. Therefore, I will be to Ephraim like a moth, and to the house of Judah like rottenness. When Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah saw his wound, then Ephraim went to Assyria and sent to King Jareb, Yet he cannot cure you, nor heal you of your wound. For I will be like a lion to Ephraim, and like a young lion to the house of Judah. I, even I, will tear them and go away. I will take them away, and no one shall rescue I will return again to my place, till they acknowledge their offense. Then they will seek my face. In their affliction they will earnestly seek me. A Call to Repentance Hosea chapter 6 verses 1 through 11 Come and let us return to the Lord, for he has not torn, but he will heal us. He has stricken, but he will bind us up. After two days he will revive us. On the third day he will raise us up, that we may live in his sight. Let us know, let us pursue the knowledge of the Lord. His going forth is established as the morning. He will come to us like the rain, like the latter and former rain to the earth. O Ephraim, what shall I do to you? O Judah, what shall I do to you? For your faithfulness is like a morning cloud, and like the early dew it goes away. Therefore I have hewn them by the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and your judgments are like light that goes forth. For I desire mercy and not sacrifice and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. But like men they transgress the covenant, there they dealt treacherously with me. Gilead is a city of evildoers and defiled with blood. As bands of robbers lie in wait for a man, so the company of priests murder on the way to Shechem. Surely they commit lewdness. I have seen a horrible thing in the house of Israel. There is the harlotry of Ephraim. Israel is defiled. Also, O Judah, a harvest is appointed for you when I return the captives of my people. Israel's love for wickedness, Hosea chapter seven, verses one through 16. When I would have healed Israel, then the iniquity of Ephraim was uncovered and the wickedness of Samaria, for they have committed fraud. A thief comes in, a band of robbers take spoil outside. They do not consider in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness. Now their own deeds have surrounded them. They are before my face. They make a king glad with their wickedness and princes with their lies. They are all adulterers, like an oven heated by a baker. He ceases stirring the fire after kneading the dough until it is leavened. In the day of our king, princes have made him sick, inflamed with wine. He stretched out his hand with scoffers. They prepare their heart like an oven while they lie in wait. Their baker sleeps all night. In the morning, it burns like a flaming fire. They are all hot like an oven and have devoured their judges. All their kings have fallen. None among them calls upon me. Ephraim has mixed himself among the peoples. Ephraim is a cake unturned. Aliens have devoured his strength, but he does not know it. Yes, gray hairs are here and there on him, yet he does not know it. And the pride of Israel testifies to his face, but they do not return to the Lord their God, nor seek him for all this. Ephraim also is like a silly dove without sense. They call to Egypt. They go to Assyria. 
Wherever they go, I will spread my net on them. I will bring them down like birds of the air. I will chastise them according to what their congregation has heard. Woe to them, for they have fled from me. Destruction to them, because they have transgressed against me. Though I redeemed them, yet they have spoken lies against me. They did not cry out to me with their heart when they wailed upon their beds. They assembled together for grain and new wine. They rebel against me. Though I disciplined and strengthened their arms, yet they devise evil against me. They return, but not to the Most High. They are like a treacherous bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword for the cursings of their tongue. This shall be their derision in the land of Egypt. Israel reaps the whirlwind. Hosea chapter 8, verses 1 through 14. Set the trumpet to your mouth. He shall come like an eagle against the house of the Lord, because they have transgressed my covenant and rebelled against my law. Israel will cry to me, My God, we know you. Israel has rejected the good. The enemy will pursue them. They set up kings, but not by me. They made princes, but I did not acknowledge them. From their silver and gold they made idols for themselves, that they might be cut off. Your calf is rejected, O Samaria. My anger is aroused against them. How long until they attain to innocence? For from Israel is even this, a workman made it, and it is not God. But the calf of Samaria shall be broken to pieces. They sow the wind and reap the whirlwind. They stalk, the stalk has no bud, it shall never produce meal. If it should produce, aliens would swallow it up. Israel is swallowed up. Now they are among the Gentiles, like a vessel in which is no pleasure. For they have gone up to Assyria, like a wild donkey along by itself. Ephraim has hired lovers. Yes, though they have hired among the nations, now I will gather them. And they shall sorrow a little, because of the burden of the king of princes. Because Ephraim has made many altars for sin, they have become for him altars for sinning. I have written for him the great things of my law, but they were considered a strange thing. For the sacrifices of my offerings they sacrifice flesh and eat it, but the Lord does not accept them. Now he will remember their iniquity and punish their sins. They shall return to Egypt. For Israel has forgotten his maker and has built temples. Judah also has multiplied fortified cities, but I will send fire upon his cities, and it shall devour, devour his palaces.